The amorphous is a very unusual being, if you can even call it that. As the name implies, it is shapeless, its form appearing to constantly change. It is also void of color for the most part. However, the human brain cannot process this properly and therefore fills in the space with darkness, much like the way the brain sees a black hole or space itself. Sometimes, when it truly wills itself to, an amorphous can change into any shape it so desires, sometimes able even to change a few colors. It can be for a brief or a long period of time, depending on how intricate the form is, as it takes energy in order for an amorphous to shapeshift. An amorphous cannot be born. It cannot be created. It cannot be destroyed. Only moved. It simply was, is, and will be forever. Throughout history, the amorphous has had many names. Angel, demon, ghost, spirit, and more recently, a shade. An amorphous can be either good or bad. Like humans, some have more morals than others. But in our dimension, good and bad are simple names we use to label things that help or harm us. In most alternate dimensions, this idea does not exist. Amorphoses tend to be incredibly powerful as well. Not only can they cross dimensions, but they have the capability to create dimensions as well. This leads some to believe that in the beginning, an amorphous created our own dimension, our universe. It is unclear what its intent was, whether this entity created us on purpose or not, whether he has a plan for us or even cares. It is also uncertain whether or not it could have been done by a single or many amorphoses, not to mention how wise they are because they have always been, because they have always traveled, they have infinite knowledge about the world, our universe, and other dimensions as well. Some people seek to gain some of their knowledge by summoning them and trying to get information out of them, but all end in failure. There are several ways of summoning an amorphous. Many of these you have probably heard of. Ouija boards, chanting something at a mirror in the dark. There are plenty of rituals to go off of. When an amorphous is pulled into our dimension against its will, it can become quite aggressive and angry. Sometimes, in rare cases though, they react calmly, curiously, when pulled through our world, it takes a lot of energy out of them, so they tend to stick around a familiar place or object for a while until they have enough strength to move freely again. It's no rush though, being able to travel through time and space and all. I'm sure you've made a few connections. Most likely, you yourself may have had an experience with an amorphous at one time or another. In fact, you're probably close to one right now. We are nice little playthings for some of them to watch stumble about. And they do not fully understand dying, not being able to die themselves. So they enjoy watching us when we do. It interests them to see us cease to move. It's certain humans they find the most entertaining the ones who feel the most fear. It's also impossible for an amorphous to feel fear 
nothing threatens them. Although they are all knowing, they can never understand firsthand what fear feels like or what death is like. This plagues them. So many of them watch us and just wait. Wait to watch us die, hoping to learn something. A few grow very eager. They try to speed up the process. Those moving shadows you see at night in the dark corners of your room may not be your mind playing tricks. It probably is the writhing mass of an amorphous watching you, trying to frighten you, and growing very, very impatient.